special treat. She is the producer of this show. She's also a part of uh, the Crazy Bitches of Comedy. Please give a very warm, warm welcome to Kathy Arnold, everybody. having a good time right here. I know she is, everyone. Feel free to shout out the Yankee score at any time because I'm trying to keep up with it, all right? Don't, if I'm in the middle of my act, just go. Just be like, six to three, Yankees, whatever. Just, I'm giving you permission right now, all right? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm part of the crazy bitches of comedy, but there's a difference between us crazy and half this world crazy. You ever watch the news? The news is nothing but fucking crazy shit. I'm telling you, it's getting worse and worse, okay? I had the news on the other day, and kids are putting alcohol and enemas and sticking it up their asses. She's taking it, right? To get drunk. When we were kids, we were doing keg stands and beer funnels. They're sticking enemas up their asses. So they don't smell it on their breath, I guess. December 21st, right? December, yeah, she's on December 21st, right? Is that the freaking day? I don't believe it. You believe it? I know, it's, 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 I feel that way too, but you know something? It's, there's a difference. There's the rich people and there's the poor people. The rich people, they don't care. I mean, the rich people don't want to die, right? The poor people, we're sitting there going, God, I hope those minds are right. <laughs> so I gotta take another day of this fucking shit. Because <laughs> really, though, you know, and the rich people like, hey, anyway, Okay, because I want to fucking go. I want to go. And I'm taping my hubcaps to my goddamn car, so fuck yourself, okay? The other day I'm driving down Hampton Turnpike and I see a Lifer truck behind me with the lights going. I put my blinker on, I pulled over. I thought I was being pulled over by the Lifer truck because I didn't pay my Lifer bill. I'm like, I put my signal on. This is a true story. This is how mental I am. It's a true story. You know, like, you, like the rich people, you run out of soap, right? Okay, you run out of your hand soap, you go in your pantry, you got your Costco filled up with this amount of soap, right? Oh, I ran out of soap, let me go get another one. Oh, I got another backup, 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 backup soap, okay? <laughs> Us poor people, we run out of soap, we're putting the water in it, we're shaking it. We do the shake. We don't buy soap until nothing but water is coming out that shit. That's when I go buy soap, okay? doesn't buy happiness, okay? Bullshit, okay? Be a little bit happy if I could afford toilet paper, right? I can't sit using those Taco Bell napkins to turn my ass off. I'm like, oh, I'm running out. Of Maybe I have Taco Bell napkins and Dunkin' Donuts napkins in my car. I don't want to go get toilet paper. I don't got money for that. So I can swear to God. And I think it's hereditary because I grew up poor and I'm still poor. I grew up in Levittown, for God's sakes. I'm doing the same thing my father did every Sunday and returning beer cans for extra income. with a beer cane in his hand, the couch was on the front lawn, the freaking TV, everything was on the front lawn, because when you're poor, you're poor, you hang out in the front lawn, you cook, you freaking, you know, when you're sitting on the couch, usually your mom's like uh, vacuuming around your feet, and you put your feet up, no, that, we are, my dad's mowing around us on the couch. We had a lemonade stand at one time, right, because we had to help my parents pay their mortgage, so our parents put us to work, so we had a lemonade stand, and then, 
The lemonade stand got shut down because my dad got caught spiking the lemonade. <laughs> my APD brain totally went off the joke that I was supposed to talk about, about his jean shorts, because they're like, what is she going to talk about the jean shorts? Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone now. I'm coming back to it. So my dad, picture this. He had rolled up jean shorts, okay? Because in the summer, we couldn't afford shorts. So what we would do was cut our jeans into shorts. And then in the winter, he'd have my mom sew the legs back on. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. You wonder why I go, go to seek therapy and take Xanax. You would too if you worked at Applebee's at the age of 32. <laughs> Doing comedy in the program. <laughs> yep. And I li I'm a beauty school dropout, I kid you not. It's a real life story. Literally dropped out of that shit. Because I went to college for a little bit and I can't do math. I'm sorry, I just can't do math. Some people can't do math. I'm like, you know what, I'll go to beauty school. What do I need math for? I'm cutting hair, I'm blowing it, I'm curling it. I don't need goddamn math. No, I was wrong. Because the teacher said, take your little model head out and do a, thir a 90 degree angle. I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> I swear to God, that thing was a joke to me. They're like, she's like, how come you're not blow drying your dolls? I'm like, no, air drying. I'm swinging the thing's head around. I'm like, I can't do this shit, I'm out of here. So yeah, on another note, I freaking, <clears throat> I uh, tried seeking therapy and that didn't work out because my uh, she I basically inspired my uh, therapist to do comedy. I don't know, it was very weird. I was telling her that I'm a stand-up comedian, blah, 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 blah. She goes, really? I've always wanted to do comedy. I was so funny. I was telling my boyfriend jokes, this, that. I tell jokes all the time. And I'm going, okay, who's paying who here? All right, here we go. She's probably on Jay Leno tonight. So stay, stay tuned to my therapist, Joanne. Congrats. <laughs> nothing for me. I'm popping Xanax like it's nobody's business right now, right? <laughs> Which I think the whole world should take, that, should take Xanax. You know why? Because it would decrease road rage. <laughs> because you all know how bad you, we all hate one another on the road. We can't stand you. But yet we never met you, but we can't fucking stand you. As soon as we get in that car, we hate your guts, okay? <laughs> but we want to get somewhere, we want to fucking get somewhere, okay? You're driving up that person's ass, you're like, move it, grandma! Put that pedal to the metal! I got You love it. You're just like, come on, right? And then you have to do that little drive-by one and see what an asshole looks like. You just always have to look, right? Like, you always got to take that look. You got to get up close to that. You're like, I want to see what an asshole looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. Yeah. You know what the asshole looks like, okay? And then, no, and then, you know what's so sick? And then when someone's doing it to you, what do you do? You fucking get mad, right? Someone's doing it to you now. Now you are so pissed off that they're doing they're like, all right, we'll see who's going where. I'm going to stay right along the line with this guy right here. We'll see who's going where. <laughs> it's so true. We're all screwed up. God, it maybe it's the water or something. But then on the water, in the water, when you're on the boat, we all love each other. What the hell's that all about? I get on my uncle's boat because, God, you know, it wasn't my boat because I could never own the boat in my life. I'm on the boat with my uncle, and he's like, hi, ah, he's waving. Everyone waves to each other on the water on the boat. I'm like, you know. And enough with the Facebook liking, okay? There's people who go on Facebook and all they do is scroll down and go like, 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 enough, okay? Because you don't really like my status, okay? Because when I put on my boiler is broken, what part of my boiler is broken do you actually like? <laughs> the fact that I have no hot water or that I have no heat? Which part do you like? You like it, eh? You bitch. <laughs> I want to go back to the days where the, uh, the biggest worries was being a rotten egg. Remember that when you were a kid? You're like, I don't want to be the rotten egg. When you're like, all right, we're going to have a race, and whoever's last to the door is a rotten egg. And you're like, oh shit, I ain't going to be that rotten egg. Go, 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 go. Who's counting? Go. Ready? One, two, three. And you run into the door, and you're like, that's not fair. Jen cheated. Her foot was over the line when you said go. I am not the rotten egg. Johnny, I am not the fucking rotten egg. I got the double whammy. You know what the double whammy is? Being poor and gay. You know why? Because I got to pay for sperm. Okay? I got to pay freaking like 600 a pop. And it might not work the first time, okay? 
No, first of all, it's like six, it's like two hundred dollars. But if you want to know what the guy looks like, it's like six hundred. And if the, and it's like I want to know what they look like. I don't want it to be like a mystery lollipop where like you know where you get the dum dum thing. Like, oh, what's what's it gonna look? What's it gonna be? I want to know what my kid looks like. All right? Maybe I don't want a ginger. <laughs> Okay, make sure you give it back when you're done, Rico. <laughs> Just raise it off when you're done, you know, money's tight, you know? I can reuse that tampon when you're done, Bianca. You know? <laughs> I got a lot going on in this brain. I got ADHD, I got panic disorder. Forget it, I can't even smoke pot. I wish I could smoke pot like the rest of you people. I don't know who here smokes pot and just relaxes and chills out. Not me. I take one hit, I bug out. My friends are sitting on the couch, they're smoking, they're, oh, look, family guy, man. Stewie, uh, yeah, look at that. No, you want to know what I see? Sure, you're bugging out, right? <laughs>